Crypto has made some of the ugliest people in history rich. Welcome back to Raccoon Tweeties. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Me and Gerardo were just spending our most of our days trying to get our merch game up, you know? Yeah, I, I got this handy down Kimpatek hat, dude. <laughs> but sh- shout out to uh, Jesus for coming through last week, dude. The people enjoyed oh, that Oh, yeah. Shit. We're happy to see that you guys had good comments for Jesus. We're always worried that the guests are going to get good douche, yeah. but you all loved him. So hopefully we'll have him back sometime. Uh, he's not welcome back, dude. Remember when no. he did off the cameras, dude? Like, Oh, yeah, yeah. Never again. Fucking dude. crazy, dude. <laughs> He ordered like 20 cans of patito on DoorDash. To yeah, there's, there's too much pato sauce in my house now. As there's pato sauce all over. It's like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with spicy Italian uh, pasta sauce? Yeah, dude. Isn't that interesting? Have you ever had pato sauce? I had to buy some today. For I'm Jesus. being 100% for real right now, dude. Because he's like the headliner and you have to, yeah. it's in his uh, rider. As as the feature, you have to fucking, you know, mm-hmm. get Red Bulls, right. get enchiladas, street tacos, <laughs> and <laughs> carne asada, pato sauce. <laughs> I'm like, you can't just throw the pato sauce. I know you're not going to use it. You're just trying to call me a duck, dog. <laughs> I do like how Jesus has adopted, never heard of it. Yeah. he At first, we called, or he called you. On the phone, and he was like, man, at first I was getting kind of mad because people kept saying, never heard of him. Who is this guy? And I was like, no, 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 that's like a that's slang. A compliment, a job. He's like, oh, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> and then yesterday he said, block my side with like a Latino flair on it. He said a lot of shop stuff, uh, shopisms in the green room of the Bellflower stand-up club. Ever heard of it? He yeah. was He was going off the... Off the deep end of Chang's. Yes, sir. Not to say that he's ever seen Reddit, but... Do you want to announce the big announcement we have, dude? Um, no, you do it. You want me to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Take it away, Chin. Or is it because I'm going to fucking light you up right now, dude? You're going to light me up? I'm going to light you up, B. All right, well, I was born... Uh, you ready. were born for April 27th, dude. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's the announcement? That, what did you think I was talking about, dude? I had no idea. Yeah. Dude, uh, April 27th... But, let I, me give you a... So, a long time ago, I started a podcast. Yes. This is before I became such good friends with the guy sitting next to me, Jared. Yeah, wait. Alacran. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew you when you started it, but keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did his podcast. We were friends before, but I started a podcast, and my first episode was about a little club. You might have heard of it. It's on Magnolia Avenue. Don't get emotional. It's about name. Begins with an F. Some people have been there. Some people have heard about it. Some people have had their fries. The name of the club? Flabbers Comedy Club. Okay. They burn pizza, right? They burn pizza. It's owned by a crazy woman who's married to a comedian that was never funny. And it's a place I used to work. With Coco Brisco. Coco Brisco, <laughs> who also tried to cancel us. Flappers, Coco Brisco. Two people, two things, that have, entities that have tried to cancel us. <laughs> but I've been making fun of them for like, I don't know, five years now. I have no idea how long it's been. But I'm back, baby. <laughs> April 27th. Jesus Sepulveda's headlining Flappers Comedy Club. The main room. Is it the main room? Yeah. The main room. I hope it's the main room. I hope to God it's not the Yoohoo room. Because <laughs> if it is, I'm going to walk off the Yoohoo room stage to the main room, take the microphone away from whoever it is, probably Hal Sparks. Jay Leno. Jay Leno. I don't care. <laughs> Diddy. And I'm going to do my fucking set. It is going to not be material. Okay? It is going to be about how much Flapper sucks. And they can't do anything about it because they have no self-respect. I'm going to be there. All right? <laughs> <laughs> the Green Goblin's going to be in the corner. Bob, take him off the stage, Bob. <laughs> I can't. I used to- 
<laughs> He's doing too well. Actually, the Green Goblin probably would like it. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I'm going to I'm gonna be on two milk minimum too, dude. Dude. Fuck with me. <laughs> They're <laughs> <Fuck> to this <laughs> shit. Fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they could stop me, bro. Yep. But you know what I'm saying? I was chasing the flapper's bag the whole time. The bag was following me, yeah. tapping me on the shoulder. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My boy Jesus was walking down the street. He saw something on the floor. Oh, whatever. He saw it on the floor. He said, is that a bag? He's like, I'm going to scoop that up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to scoop up that bag right now. He said, Brandon Cooney, come through flapper tap April, April 27th, man. They thought I was on the plane to Cape Verde and shit. Yeah. Turn that shit around. <laughs> Ski, ski, <laughs> what is what is Donald <laughs> Rollins do? <laughs> oh, ski, 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 ski. <laughs> that's probably so. It's annoying. a famous song. It's not Donald Rollins. Yeah, but that's all I know. I don't, oh, okay. I don't yeah. know the fucking. What do I? What do I look like to you, Andrew Schultz? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> ski. I'm back, bitch. You can't be saying ski without the Kipitek hat, dude. I'm the one skiing over that's here. That's right. Dude. Don't kill me. <laughs> um, no, I'm back. I'm going to be back at Flappers, April 27th. If they try and lock the door or something, I'm going to bust it down. And if I edited all that out, it's because you're not on the show anymore. I'm going to be on the show. <laughs> regard, like Jesus opened the door and I walk right through it. If you show me an opportunity, guess what? I don't just go like, oh, maybe next week. I yeah. wasn't, but I'm going <laughs> to. No. Brendan Cooney's doing Flappers, April 27th. You should go because it's going to be hilarious when they kick me out. <laughs> When they're like, when I make a scene, because I'm going to make a scene before, during, and after. If you're making a scene right now, dude. <laughs> I'm going to be crazy on stage. I'm going to be crazy in the green room. I'm going to be doing wacky shit, especially after I go up. Cocaine dad? No. <laughs> that's that's a step too far. But I am going to, like, you know, order Monster at the bar and then say it's too much. You know. What's this extra charge? <laughs> well, I'm going to ask them what the extra charge is. I'm going to tell everybody, look at their bill and say... If you have an extra charge on your bill, hold it up. And then I say, Jardo's paying for it. Oh, Jesus. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, they all know that's not true. Oh. <laughs> he saw the bag. He scooped it up. <laughs> <laughs> One day, Gerardo will uh, be so much more successful than me. That's because I, I fucking murdered You're a hustler. It. Yeah, dude. You're a hustler, and you have an insane talent that can only be watched, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and that's my ability to consume whole cans of pato. That's true. You yeah, are a duck. Yeah. <laughs> quack, quack, duck. <laughs> uh, we did we did a, uh, the stand-up uh, show with Jesus yes. and Bellflower. Gerardo crushed. Thank you, dude. I, was, I, didn't, I only heard two of the things you said because the laughter was so loud from the green room. Yeah. I was like, damn, dog. I had one thing I really did, uh, I liked a lot, but I can't clip it. So uh, I'm going to talk about it now because it's about cocaine. But uh, I was like, dude, this guy got excited. He started putting coke on the table. And then I was like, uh, stage dive, right? And then <laughs> and then I went crowd work. <laughs> like I was gonna do is cocaine, dude. That's funny. It's fucking damn. Yeah, I'm still on fire. They just put me out earlier with they had a hose outside and stuff, you know. Yeah, it was a whole thing, dude. They had to yeah. fucking pull the alarm and shit. Alarcone yep. in the house. But anyways, um, what we were gonna talk about today was I was scrolling through Twitter and like, you know how people just, like, retweet the New York Post shit? Oh, Maybe yeah. it's because I follow it, but... Also, because it's so ridiculous, like, the headlines. The headlines are, yes, yeah, like, cousins dating his mom or some <laughs> shit like that. But yeah. this one uh, caught my eye because it's about bald heads. Ever heard of it? <laughs> yeah, I definitely bald have, dude. Bald guys that fuck, okay? <laughs> they get realistic toupees. So you got to pull it up, chin. Um, so this article's about... Uh, guys that are buying very, very realistic toupees. I have not read it. I hope there's a video. Maybe there's not, but I at least want to take it out because it's like, you know, I'm always looking. I don't Should know. I get a toupee? Oh, dude. <laughs> the, now I understand why you want to talk about this. <laughs> I forgot you were bald for a sec. It's the beanie, dude. You yeah. want to tell about where oh, you got the yeah. beanie at? So I got a poor Osos hat because my idea now is that we're just going to get decked out in other comedians' merch. We don't have merch Many of you have complained about this. Uh, you know what? I'm actually, you know, well, shout out to the subs because there were like a bunch of subs this weekend. Yeah. And it is, again, at the highest it's ever been. So please don't cancel if you are a Patreon sub. Yeah. <laughs> but the uh, money's going to a good place, dude. Also, shout out to the newest uh, one of the 1,000. I know this person has told us not to mention them by name before. So yeah. I assume that's still in effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But thank you. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're very appreciated. Those those people um, are people that just want to support the show. You're talking about Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> yeah. 
Definitely not Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I wish the 80. Love that guy. Um, but uh, yeah, so shout out to all you guys. So he wants to start buying merch to where we're yeah. just only wearing merch on the show. Yeah, I want Gerardo, like my, I was just telling Gerardo, I want him to, like on his birthday, have him open up my present and be like, oh. And like it's the golden hour jacket, <laughs> but we don't make enough money to do all that. Yeah, that's just probably like a fucking hundreds of dollars. Yeah, they're redacted uh, prices on Thick Boy, you know. But uh, you know, help us get this merch because I think it's hilarious. If you enjoy it, let us know. If you think it's blockbuster, let me know because I don't. I'm spending my own money. <laughs> yeah, because it, so. it is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, yeah, it's too much money. You can look it up yourself. Look up poor Oso's hat. You know what? I this hat is not. It's too small. Yeah. It's fucking make me mad. You can't tell. It looks okay, I guess, but it's like Tom, Bert, uh, what are we doing here? Yeah. Give me a bigger hat. I know I have a big head, size eight. Ever heard of it? But uh, Bert's like, we could make them tiny so that they could squeeze out more money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they return it. Yeah. Or whatever fucking, but can you give me a bigger one? Oh, you have to keep the small one. <laughs> Part of me wants to hassle them. One time, a long time ago, when I listened to Tim Dillon's paid, uh, podcast, I subbed to support Ben. And also because I was a fan. Uh, but uh, they sent me a cup, or I mean, a, I ordered a mug, and it was broken when it showed up. So I messaged Ben. I was like, haha, man, uh, mug's broken, canceling as a joke. And he, was, he immediately sent me a new one. I was like, sorry about that. Good guy. He knew it was because you're big dick. Yeah. He knew I'd light him up, B. Yeah. People know. I like I light people up. So are you really thinking about getting a toupee? No. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> what, if, what if Chris D'Elia started making toupee merch? Oh, hell yeah. I don't, I mean, that makes no sense. <laughs> Bill Burr. Okay, Bill Burr. <laughs> yeah. Somebody. Bill Burr starts selling two paints. Yeah. I'd be like, fuck, all things comedy is that it went down that hard. <laughs> Not things aren't going good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I got these uh, two paints now. It's pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, you know, thinking about it, you know, because uh, trying to make some more money. <laughs> it's real adhesive compared to other brands. <laughs> My dad wore two pegs. <laughs> He's a fucking asshole. Yeah, let's check it out. Hyper-realistic toupees are the hottest new flex with some Dude. spending hair-raising dough to look their best. That fucking, that, that's the one thing about New York Post that is like kind of neg flex is the titles. Can yeah. we scroll back up to that title for <laughs> yeah. a second? Hyper-realistic toupees are the hottest new flex. First of all, hilarious to use <laughs> Gen Z slang flex, but with a, some spending hair-raising. Yeah. That's a good word stuff. Mm -hmm. What are we, a Chang's? Why is it a weird Australian lady in the front, though? What does I that have to do? Know. It's probably an ad for something. <laughs> Bullshit. I don't know why the TV or the computer doesn't like us today. Let me see if I refresh this, if there's another video that we could watch. Oh, Ooh, there, we there we go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's definitely a Latino. They look like they're painting a narrative on his head. <laughs> yeah, dude. What oh, is that, got... me with salsa on me? United is buying so many ads because of their planes fucking... Or no, is that even Boeing? Boeing is. But, I mean, I'm sure United has yeah. Boeing planes. Who doesn't? Right. Know? Boeing. Most, ever heard of them? <laughs> yeah. They got planes that their doors fall off and shit. Yep. What is this? Some fucking donk. Jesus Christ, dude. You need to pay for the New York Post so we don't get ads. This is messed up. They got people working on their lunch break and shit in the ad. Yeah. It's making me sad, dude. That's wild. Fuck you, HR block. Okay, here Suck we go. My dick. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> oh, it's just music. Hyper or expensive uber realistic hair pieces. Oh, dude, look at that Whoa. guy. Whoa. So he's like shaving the guy's head like completely off so he can like put glue on his head, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's gluing his head. No. Whoa. That's but real. How hair. do you how do you wash your head though? I guess you don't. You just live with the result, dude. That's fucking weird, dude. Oh, Your head's going to get gross. He's gluing both sides. That looks like something that this is hyper realistic. Not at all. This oh, looks, it looks like something that you buy in Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. I mean, it looks a lot more realistic there, actually. How does it grow? It doesn't. What? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. Fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Duck. <laughs> um, That's... I mean, that is crazy realistic, I guess. Oh, my God. But let's be honest, he still knows, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> if they put that on my head, it would be weird, you know? Yeah. Because that's more like a, as a, for Latinos or brothers or something. I mean, that'd be cool if they put it on your head. You have black hair with a red beard. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what they'd put on me, man. But that's fine. I guess it's just not, they're not like cars. What, are the, what does it say? Any, anything stand out? Uh, one Upper East Side hairstylist, Terry Green. Hawks. What? 
See, always read the fucking comments, dude. Yeah, well, Hawks per handmade to pay for up to whopping $6,800. Damn, dude. Do you think that's a fair price? I think it's a fair terminology, dude. She's definitely a hawk, dude, for getting that much money. $6,800 for a haircut. This guy is, I mean, he it's going to help him a lot. I think. There's just so much sadness in those eyes, dude. It feels unfair that this guy looks so much better with hair than without it. That's true, but let's be honest. He's not doing himself any favors. Shave the head, B, right? If you were... He, yeah, you're right. Yeah. What were you saying? If he were bald, he would sling more, you know. You know I think so. Say. I think if he shaved those sides, he'd probably look better. Yeah. He just looks bad with, like, this kind of cut. Dude, and he has... And, you know, you have you struggle with issues with your hair. Yeah, my body. What's my biggest issue, dude? My name, right? Look at this guy's name. Corey what? Magnum, dude. <laughs> Bro, if Corey Magnum was a bald guy that slang dick, dude, he would go much further in life. Yeah, he could hang out with me, Dana White, Joe Rogan, the guys yeah. that fucking slang, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, there's definitely levels to the shit. Yeah, you know? he's definitely right. a level below you. <laughs> what does it say? He's in the Nutcracker? What the fuck? Was he a, does it say he's in the Nutcracker? Oh, yeah, he's the lead prince in the Nutcracker Ballet. What? How did he get cast as a bald guy, dude? <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> He doesn't need air. He's ball. This guy's balling out of control. I couldn't be cast in the as the lead in the Nutcracker Ballet. That's like yeah, that's pretty high up there, man. When you think of a prince, why is the computer doing this today? That's I don't crazy. Know. It's sad to me that people that successful still care this much about their hair. Yeah, it makes sense for me to care. I'm a dunk. <laughs> when you but, think of a prince, they usually have hair. He had no shit. Sherlock. Fuck off, New York Post. <laughs> no, cool. that's Magnum, dog. He's one of the bald guys. Oh he, my god, he's self hating loser. <laughs> You've achieved so much. Why is he do? Why is he saying stuff like that? Yeah. They get real hair from India, apparently. Yeah, it should last him four to six months. That's sixty eight hundred dollars for four to six months, dude. You know, that's a thing though. I, I've heard. I read this book recently. Um, it's like it's called White Teeth by Zadie Smith, and they sell Indian hair to people. It's been going on for a long time. Wow. I don't know why Indian people sell their hair, but that's a I whole think thing. maybe because they have good hair. It's got to be like, you know. Yeah, that's probably it. That's a very simple answer. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Indian people have good hair. Ever heard of yep. it? Good for them. It's all that. And then insert racist stereotype right there, dude. You saw how I do that? What do you like, mean? Why Indian? It's all that curry or something, you know? Oh, right, right. I mean, that's what Schultz would be like. You know why they got that good hair, bro? It's because they're riding on top of the bus, dog. That's why they're riding on top of the train. You see the trains with all the Indians on top of them? Pick up the bag, bro. It's on the floor. Motherfucker on like a magic carpet <laughs> shit. You know, just like <laughs> yeah. something blatantly racist. Yeah. It makes no sense. They got their tigers and shit. I knew this one lady, Jasmine. She really liked this dude Aladdin. She had a tiger and shit. She probably had good hair and shit, man. <laughs> okay, I'm not even into Schultz anymore. No, I liked it. I'm just being racist. <laughs> I mean, you, you nailed it. Okay. You're very Thank close. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. There's levels to this shit, bro. <laughs> At first, it was weird to have hair again, but I like it. I feel like a new person once I get out of the chair. But like, what do you do? How do you maintain this, though? That's my question. Uh, easy, dude. Head and shoulders, baby. You don't I mean, I guess you wash, but then the top of your head is going to be dirty as fuck. That's, uh, that's true. Um Watch in four, in four to six months, we're gonna get an article about how disgusting Corey Magnum's hair is. <laughs> yeah, he, like nude hair trend causes men like brain tumors or something. Well, hopefully not, but something like that. <laughs> Dang, dude, they got my boy Narciso right here, dude. <laughs> Let's see. When I got older and my hair started thinning more, it was starting to depress me quite a bit. Keith, forty eight. Keith, you have to have white hair, dude. Is he? Is this this man is definitely. Yeah. Dying his beard. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Keith, dude, be happy. You're 48 is when your hair started thinning. I lost my hair at 19, dude. Also, I want to know why people are... How much is Keith and Corey getting paid to just talk about themselves on earwaves, dude? You know what I mean? Yeah, this is like a secret. I'd be like, if they called me and they're like, hey, we want to talk to you. It's a New York Post about your hair thing. I'd be like, <laughs> you know, or like... This is actually Jeff, yeah. Connie. I think you got me confused with someone else. Because you still want to express how sad you are about your hair. You're like, no, it's a Jeff. But yeah, the baldness is a... Uh... Nah, I would never tell him. I would never want an article about me. Same thing with those chicks. I don't want to talk about this, but same thing with those chicks that were like uh, talking about Andrew Huberman today. He was like, he banged like five chicks at the same time. It's like, you want to admit that to a newspaper? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Losers. <laughs> The, sad hide that fact you shouldn't <laughs> let people know you bang Huber, Andrew Huberman and he didn't cheat on you let alone that he was cheating on you with like 10 other chicks you're a loser 
Is Huber so Huberman's out there like that? I'm I trying to be so. flagrant right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get so it, Huberman's man. out there like that, Doug? Yeah, bro. He fucking <laughs> smashed. He smacked, bro. Huberman, bro. I mean, hey, he got a dick on him. <laughs> that <laughs> moron. He went on flagrant. Literally, he, oh, he yeah, was he like, did. he's. A, and you're dating somebody. You are admitting to a newspaper, or magazine, wherever the fuck it is, that you went on a date with someone who went who was on the flagrant podcast. And told a bunch of morons about how to like be better with their physio. I don't even know, dude, because I don't pay attention and I never will. You know what, dude? We'll get back to that. But I just yeah. gotta, I just gotta, dude. We're leaving money on the table right now. Right, you right, right. you want to know how? How? Check this out, dude. <laughs> Let me just read this really quick. Right? Okay. Talk One twenty-eight-year-old California man's entire livelihood is based on documenting his hair loss journey. Read the rest of that sentence. Um. Okay. Uh, almost 850,000 TikTok followers. Doug, we need you to start manifesting hair on TikTok, dude. I need you every day posting, ghosting, saying that day one, I'm going to grow hair now. I'm that is a really hair. funny idea. Thank you, dude. Maybe I should only do that on the TikTok. There you go. I should like, because I mean, I can I can swing $6,800 for a haircut if it's going to get me 850,000 Twitter. Because by the way, where, where the fuck is the journey at, dude? Because look how much hair this man has. Yeah. That's insane. This I don't know if I want to glue fake hair to my head. Don't do that. Yeah. He manifested it for sure. That looks real as fuck, dude. Okay. So yeah. we need you on TikTok. It's socials be every, every day, day talking about my hair. Mm hmm. What lack. are we doing here? <laughs> what hair, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you don't, you want to see some hair? Oh, oh, I got hair. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it, bro. It's just not on my head. Oh, so this guy's losing hair in the wild, dude. Do you want to hear this? Yeah, let's see what this okay. dog has to say. Before y'all start hating, check this out. Before y'all like, start hating. Check this out. You like, Vegas. see my scalp and everything. Like, it looks legit. Look how legit this is. Like, the blend through the side. Like, you can't even see the crease. Now, I peeled up the front a little bit so you guys can see it. But basically, this is the front right here. Watch. Oh, my good. Oh! <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but what about when Yo, a chick it looks so does good. that I to you? Like I not know. Like that. David Beckham's offspring. I'm not trying like, to hate on this like, guy. Like, I feel for my, my bald brother, but, like, dude. Yeah. The chick is going to run her hand through your hair and be like, ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what died on here, dude? Yeah, great. man. It looks good. Just find a girl honest, that likes you bald, this stupid. Really temporary, guys. I'm trying to build a bigger also, foundation for a transplant later this year. He might not be looking, he wants a he transplant. Might not be looking for a girl. True. Not that, Let's be honest. Yeah, no... No, no judgment there. That's not even a realized. gadouche, dude. Yeah. 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 I'm looking for I something. would say look for a guy that is down with a ball guy. Yeah. So there's plenty. I remember one time, um, the, I mean, I, I've had, uh, one time my roommate took a picture of me and he's by, and somebody was, and he posted it online and was, the gay guy was like, oh, you're hanging out with like, there's some term for like bald Oh, daddies or something like that, and I was like, dude. I was kind of flattered by that. Oh, you're hanging out with a slippery little otter man, huh? Or something. It like wasn't that? like that, but yeah, <laughs> something like more complimentary than otter man. Okay. Oh, otter man sounds bad. You're hanging out with an Egyptian cat. Is that what they call bald men in the? Because you know they, be they're hairless cats. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> <laughs> Why, dude? It's so funny though. <laughs> Let's finish this guy's. I'm kidding. I want to see this guy's journey. But I'm going to be putting this wig. Through the test to see if it's a viable option for people that can't get their hair back because losing your hair fucking sucks, dude. Some people can't get or afford hair transplants and not everybody's a great responder to hair medication. <laughs> Let's normalize men having wigs. Okay? It's not that weird for a dude to be rocking a wig. I don't feel care. Himself looking pretty damn good. If you want more context, I made a video yesterday that goes a little bit good. more... Yeah, okay. I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry to this guy, but the hair doesn't look good. It's not going to be normalized, sir. I, don't, I think it's fine. I, I Again, I don't care if you wear this. I don't think you should be necessarily made fun of, but you will be. But I don't, I don't, I never like get on with like the, oh, it's a toupee or whatever. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't, it's probably not going to be normalized. Dude, I think we need to give a, we need to, before, while they're here, dog, we need to give our flowers to New York Post. You know what I'm saying, bro? Oh, yeah? Yeah. They saw the fucking, they saw that bag on the floor. They picked that and they scooped that <laughs> shit up, dog. They saw that real ass toupee on the floor. They scooped that bitch up. Bro, 
I didn't expect the New York Post to have so much information on motherfucking two pays, duh. So let let me get this straight, then. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, like, are you flipping your whole script? Because before this shit started, bro, you was real different. I mean, look, keep it in, real different. You know, keep it one hundred. I keep it real, bro. With my fans and shit, they all watching this show. We got eighteen k on here at least. You know I, what I'm saying, I, bro? But you say that now, you keep it real hundred. But before this shit started, bro, you was you was talking a little shit about the. You said the New York Cat. Post. <laughs> Cat, bro. Cat, I'm open minded, bro. You gonna you gonna crucify me for being an open minded, bro? Cat. Hey, hey, I call it like I see it, pimp. I call it like I see it. Pimp. Something about you right now, real feminine to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine a whole podcast like that and t- dead serious. That like, little trial run, sadly, bro. We probably do it the whole time, dude. That well, that is what uh, flagrant is <laughs> yeah. from what I've seen. They oh. just don't argue with him. Hit the they just agree with everything he said. Yeah. If there was another guy on there like Schultz that would had the balls to disagree with him in whatever accent he's doing, <laughs> the episode would never end, dude. Yeah, I want. I just. I want to go on. I, well, I don't want to go on flagrant, <laughs> but I. If I did, what if I did that voice the whole time? <laughs> and they'd be like, the people watching would be like, "Oh shit, this guy. This guy gets it, bro. Mm-hmm. He fucking. He just as funny as Schultz, bro. Yeah. But and then other people would be like, "Wow, they're both idiots." <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, can you play the music real quick? Yeah. Um, so a name just followed me on Instagram. Who do you think it was? <laughs> One guess. Shane Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> and they want to send me a message. Who's that? Jesus Sepulveda. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Sepulveda, dude. Blocked. Blocked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Patito. <laughs> you, um, patito, you. <laughs> you're like, read it right away. <laughs> Um, yeah. All right. Well, that's the hair stuff. We, yeah. The other thing we were going to talk about, great transition, Brendan, is uh, Country Wayne. Actually, no, fuck. Oh, I yeah, wanted no. to bring this guy up because this goes right into, I wanted to like get right into this naturally, but I, the and this guy just reminded me of the hair shit because look at oh. his, like make it big and look at this guy's face. Pause, bro. Pause, dude. <laughs> Make it big and Shut look up, at this idiot. guy's. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> this is, is crazy. He looks like he's in Wakanda. <laughs> All right. Look at this shit. Ready? What's up, guys? It's Hard Rock Nick, the Prince of Florida. The fin- All right. Hard Rock Nick. Look at, yeah, that's a crazy name. But look at the painted on shit. This is like what the toupee stuff is to me. Oof. Right? Yeah. A little bit. Just like you don't want to do shit like this. It's much more normal to have like fucking weird shit on your eyebrow. Or maybe go, I don't know. If you're care, if you care about that stuff, go to the eyebrow people, and then the beard is like painted on too. What is that? Not to mention the there's foundation on the scalp. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, he's, oh yeah, he's got makeup. Makeup, on. yeah, dude. Yeah, that's really weird. When you're doing makeup and you're going like this, you got problems, dog. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Hard Rock Nick, and that <laughs> that watch is wild. Like the shirt and the necklace are totally insane, but the watch is so crazy that. It makes the necklace almost seem normal. This is why podcasts like Flagrant should not exist, dude. We're, we're getting more of this in the world, dude. You think he watches Flagrant? He he doesn't only watch it, but then when he's driving, he listens to the audio. <laughs> like he watches it twice in a sense, <laughs> you know? Right, right, right. And he tells his homies like, this is my favorite part this week. And then his homie already listened to it. He's like, I already heard that. And they get in a fight. I can't imagine this guy having friends, but I'm sure he does. Yeah, dude. And what is his job? What is this? Maybe a rich dad or self-made man that does like owns a call center or something. What does this guy do? I'm fascinated. With there's Hard guy. Rock Nick. There's Soft Branch Justin. There's um, uh, I see what you're doing. Medium Rare <laughs> Ryan. There's, <laughs> there's Firm Firm Fondling Frank, dude. <laughs> you won't you won't hit the dog button. <laughs> oh, damn it! God damn it! <laughs> no, just, I'm glad you did. It. All right, let's hear what this idiot has to say, though. It's a cryptocurrency and one of the oh, richest men the in the answer. world. I want to remind all you bitch ass Boston okay. Celtics fans that we here in Miami not only got the best weather, we not only got the best food. We not when he only turns got his the head, pussy, dude. Yeah. But we're gonna do exactly what we did Bye, last bro, year, shit. which is take out the number one seed Celtics as the number eight seed Miami Heat. Remember that. Last year, your bitch ass lost in seven to the eight seed Miami Heat. This year, we're gonna get it done in April. Damn. Okay. Wow. Crypto has made some of the ugliest people in history rich. You know what I mean? That was for Big Rock, but yeah. (laughs) 
That guy, do you see the other clip of the guy with the huge nose who keeps saying, choose rich? Oh, have no. you ever seen that? I've He's like a crypto that. guy. He looks awful. I will say that I, listen, Big Rock Nick, it is kind of a very aggressive way to enter my life, this video, but yeah, I 100% agree with him, dude. I'm a basketball fan. Yeah, you're, you're in the NBA. Your ball's deep. The Heat has fucking the Celtics number, bro. And you know what else, bro? I really do think... I'm not a Lakers fan, dude. I'm a Kobe fan. So oh, yeah. fuck the Celtics, dude, at every turn of my life. You know really? what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it, it matters to me not at all whether the Heat or the Celtics win. Mm -hmm. I am entertained by this guy, but it just... I don't know, man. When I'm just saying he has bars. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. He has marker on his face. <laughs> It'd be like if he was next to you and he is like, hey, can I get that marker? You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, out of my butt? Yeah. Damn he'd it. put it, he'd use it. God damn it. He, this, is, this guy has a Bondigas written all, actually maybe not enough of Bondigas. <laughs> His mom never beat him a half to death over a soup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a face of a man that didn't have to do, or maybe it is, or maybe it's worse actually, because he's crazy as hell. Dog, me and my mom went to go eat yesterday. Uh huh. And uh, she was like, she looked at the menu. That yeah. was you. Yeah, no, that was me, dog. I'm not your mom. <laughs> My mom did a an Albondigas joke yesterday, dude. I, mean, I remember you fucking threatened my life at a restaurant, dude. Uh, yeah, we're at Calaveras. Yeah. Ever heard of it? And I saw it, and I was like, look at this. Honestly, she, your mom your mom shouldn't be making jokes about that. It's too, she too does. traumatizing, dude. She made a joke. She should be confronted. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to get rid of my pinata. You know, my jarito. My, the, the, I've oh, had yeah. it for like three yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, uh, get rid of uh, Harito. And I was like, no. She's like, just get rid of him. Like, all mad. Mm. And I was like, no. She's like, hang him from the ceiling then. I'm, like, I'm not going to hang my friend. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then she's like, you know what? I'm going to make you some albondigas. Oh, God. Yeah. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and she came at, at with a bondigas when I'm around. I'm like, damn. Like, it would be like, that's, you know what the bondigas was with your, it's like this scene in, uh, Goodfellas where Joe Pesci is walking in. He thinks he's going to be made. Yeah. But then there's just a bond that goes on the table. <laughs> yeah. That's how, I, that's how I'd feel. Ah, fuck. <laughs> also, part of me, though, wants to just believe her narrative. Oh, remember that, she was like, you don't believe, you believe everything he says? She's, uh, dude, I she's gaslighting her. you, dude. I'm, I'm falling for it. She's so <laughs> likable. So, you know, I don't know. Heard it both ways, I guess. Yeah, dude. Uh, but dude, I'm on this guy's side. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm on his side, dude. Yeah, I mean, he's a crazy character. Maybe we'll check in with him later. He yeah. has a little bit of Coco Briscoe vibes, to be honest with me. We should look up Big you. Rock Nick, be honestly. Honest. Big Rock Nick. Big Rock Nick. Oh, look, at he's got an Instagram bit. <laughs> so of course he does. Trump, of course. Probably, you can probably log in on my... I think might oh. automatically log in. We'll uh, keep talking real quick. So, Big Rock Nick, I'm excited to see his Instagram. I'm sure it's real. It's full of the books he reads and uh, the community service that he does. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Trump 2016. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. 2016. Yeah, he's wow. in this for life, bro. That was a long time ago, man. He was in Calabasas when he did that. Wow, dude. Look at this. Comedians. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's talking shit about us right here, dude. What does he say? Did you know that a lot of your favorite influencers, actors, and comedians are po and podcasters are hypocritical Democrats who intentionally cheat on their state and federal income taxes when entertainers who take the money you give them and then live in and invest, all caps, the money in liberal cities like Los Angeles, Austin, and New York, and in turn directly since silence rich Powerful, beautiful white men like myself. Oh my God, what that took fuck? a turn really fast, dude. What? They indirectly terrorize all 50 states of the United States of America. Unfollow, boycott, and stop viewing anyone who has silenced, blocked, or denied me respect because this fine ass Florida boy is richer and more beautiful than anyone in liberal Hollywood and liberal Austin. I mean, that's debatable, Big Rock. I don't know. Your face is not that beautiful, bro. Yeah, you've got that weird sort of thing where it's like shaved all weird down here. and He looks like a like light bulb I just face. bought, dude. What's that? He looks like a light bulb I just bought. <laughs> he does kind of look like a light bulb. He's had some stuff done to his face. Yeah. His nose is kind of weird. I mean, now I feel like I'm being just too mean to him. But yeah, he's a stranger. He just me. called us out, dude. You That's have fucking empathy for this bitch. That's true. He did come for us a little bit there. Yeah. That's why I got like five unfollows today, dude. Because of Big Rock's influence. It's like, we don't have anything to do with the Hollywood uh, 
whatever you're talking about, man. We're just two guys trying to do. Oh my god, <laughs> that's the most terrifying, yeah, dude. <laughs> this is so weird. Nothing will get your boyfriend or girlfriend's attention and respect this upcoming Valentine's Day like a personalized cameo video from me. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. He's cornered a market here. Weirdest fucking alien looking guy on the internet making cameos, dude. Yeah, right. Is this like a character that he does? Oh, his necklace says Hard Rock Chris. Nick. Nick, I mean. Yeah. Damn. He's Wild. he's in it. Yeah, I don't he, think we even need to say. I mean, I'm gonna probably keep calling him Hard Rock Chris. You know? Okay. <laughs> uh, I never called her back. I just called her ugly as fuck, dude. He's rude as fuck, dude. He's so rude. The mustaches look more real in this picture. Yeah, I I, I just picture this guy crying at night over something, just like every every Prob- night, probably crying, crying. His therapist probably is is hard to take him seriously when he shows up. And this part, the beard is real, but then there's marker here. Yeah. It's like, well, let's talk about that first. Yeah, the the eyebrows are just not believable. Like, I don't understand why people go so far and look unbelievable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the thick layer of face cake, right? Mm-hmm. Non-gender wise, just there's some people out there that wear a lot of makeup. You know what I mean? Right. Even actors and shit, like the, in movies, it's like, yeah, I can fucking see the makeup, dude. I don't see the eyes or the face. Yeah, that this guy's definitely doing that. This he has guy. like island boy vibes, you know. I'm Thank an you. island boy. He's like in that universe. <laughs> I'm a hard rock Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I wonder if he has a truck. Probably. Oh, what is oh, this is not a video of his. No. Oh my god. He's it's always just, wearing the same shirt though. It gets worse and worse. Ew. Okay. Is that his dad? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's Sheldon Adelson. I could I could see that guy being this guy's dad though. Okay, it's just music. I think Sheldon and Allison died. Why is he why is he like this, dude? Why is there only one shirt in all of this? Yeah. I am curious how he shaves his head though. He seems to do a good job of that. Oh. What's your shave your head trick? Chris? Yeah, dude. Stop talking about crypto, bitch. <laughs> Tell me how you shave that motherfucking head. Huh? <laughs> Maybe you need a realistic toupee, Chris. <laughs> But anyways, uh, forget this guy. He's, oh, is that him in a past life? Mm-hmm. I, that's a famous guy. Who's that? Steve, Steve Wynn. Wynn. Yeah, that's right. The guy that owns all those casinos. <laughs> this, why does he talk about Vegas? He posts only about Vegas, but he's in Miami. Yeah, dude. The that's continent like, or the exactly, state. Exactly, dude. Who are those nice people? Are those his parents? It's so crazy, the stuff he's ha- got posted here. with Tom Hanks? And also the whitest kids you know guy that died. Which one, him? Yeah. He like fell off a... Trevor Moore? Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know. This, this is crazy. Random, dude. This is like the, the the jabberings of a madman that we've stumbled upon. Yeah, dude. Well, let's uh, let's move on to Courtney Wayne, dude. <laughs> Courtney. Hey, <laughs> country. <laughs> nah, dude. I'm out here. I'm Cat williams everyone, dog. I like it, dude. But yeah, that's right. He is Courtney Wayne because he came for our boy Godfrey. Yeah, dude. And you know, now you're Courtney Wayne, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to not say bitch. I know. I, j- I didn't say bitch right now. Yeah. I was going to say. I need say, another word. Yeah. What's another word? Uh, duck. Duck. Quack. Quack. Yeah. Qu- more like quack tree, Wayne. Yeah. More like duck duck tree lame. <laughs> Godfrey's hilarious and you suck. I mean, I've never seen your stand up, so I'm judging you purely based off this one video. Yeah. I mean, we should probably stop doing that too. When we don't know yeah. people and we say they suck, dude. Yeah. That's pretty dumb. And, yeah. uh, and next, next week's episode would be like, so country Wayne is awesome. <laughs> I love everything he's ever yeah, done. He called us and he's way funnier than us and he's nice. And also I'm sorry. And he bought us merch, dude. He country bought, Wayne yeah. is country Wayne. If you want it, there, what are you saying? No, that's country, it. That was country win. If you want to buy us merch, if you want to get in our good graces, you want us to stop talking that shit, bro. <laughs> no, if you want us to stop talking smack about you, then just buy me and him uh, some Thick Boy Town merch. Yeah, that's like the new thing we try and like blackmail people into buying us clothes from a Thick Boy Nation. Yeah. We're like, you want to? You don't want to be talked about on airwaves? Get my boy. Get my boy a fucking golden hour jacket, Dean. Give me a JRE shirt, bro. Yeah, hook me. That's a good idea. Do they have those? Yeah, I'm dude. sure. Yeah. I've always wanted to buy one. Get us a get my my man a JRE t shirt. Get me um, like get me a pre order on that poor Osos. Okay? Yeah, you know man. I'm trying to get lit. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, help us out, dude. Godfrey, we don't want anything from you. You've already done. You, you've entertained us for years. I'm yes. a huge fan. You'll never see this, but you're one of the most talented comedians out there. You're one of the 250. Um, I don't listen to your podcast, but <laughs> but you are very funny. Let's see what this is about. Yo, how cut on that interview? If you seen it, that's why they don't rock with you. That's why I ain't no you. I'm riding through Chicago right now because I got a show at a theater that I'm going to make 100K plus. And the real Chicago streets gonna be there. Ain't nobody in Chicago got that haircut and talking like that and leaning like that when they talking. So all the comedians who got my name in your mind, y'all was the lame dudes in high school who the girls ain't like. Uh, okay. okay, well See. that is true. Yeah, for me, I don't. I mean, I'll, you're a loner, so you didn't even give him a chance. I'm not giving any credence to what country's saying right now, dude. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I doubt Godfrey was a lame guy in high school. Yeah. He, yeah, but uh, listen here, country biscuit. <laughs> Fuck high school, dude. That shit don't matter. I, all, all that matters is the now, dude. Mm-hmm. Do I have memories? No, because I live my life every one four thirty four a.m. at a time, dude. That's what I do, right? I, I gave it all I got. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I liked it. You know what, country Wayne? Something about country Wayne feel real jelly roll to me. <laughs> 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 The fans of Country Wayne are like jelly roll and meat biscuit. Like don't don't oh oh yeah. Oh, I I'm sorry that the dumbest people on earth aren't like listening to our show. Godfrey is a smart, funny, very talented comedian. His haircut, whatever, you don't like it, but it, it doesn't take away from his talent. The the stuff that I was like earlier that I saw like the full Country Wayne video. And he was making some interesting points about fan base. He's like, you know, I got this big fan base and, you know, you've been doing it and for this many years. Like, I'm talking to the real guy. To have a, and there was something interesting about that. But this part is when he gets a little block bust. Yeah, dude, he's a duck. Let's see here. Oh, almost fucked up. This is why y'all can't get it. Because you're still mad about the girl who dealt with old boy. Yo, what's up? Uh, who is this? This is neither Country Way no, or Godfrey, Nobody dude. cares, bro, man. Five flow. What the fuck? Get out of here, He's dude. about to give us commentary on this? Okay, Hell here no. we go. Back to this. Right here. Hey, man. Hey, this is a message for... Uh, shout out to Shannon Sharp for representing me. Shannon Sharp. On his uh, club, Shay Shay, when <laughs> Godfrey Shaw. tried to come and say whatever, whatever. Well, Godfrey and all the other comedians who've been hating on me a long time. Let me tell y'all something. Every comedian to me funny. Now, if you want some advice on probably why you never gained that audience, because, bro, you the audience you speaking to just ain't... The pop audience. I don't know what you talking to. I might not be funny to you because I was, I was speaking to the streets of where I come from, all the hustlers. Not the jack boys, but the hustlers. And the bad, and, and to the bad ones. I always kept the bad Dude, this is not Country Wayne, dude. This is Andrew Scholes. I know. It is. It's, it's, it's yeah, you're right. It's just the hustlers. He's talking to the guys grind, on grind, bro. Like, they have, they have a vision, bro. Not the jack boys. I'll, I'll never talk to no jack boys, bro. Now I'm saying I see a jack boy, I'm like, <laughs> oh what, you got a bag full of pato sauce? Shit. Shit. Better drop that off at a grocery store. <laughs> I know that's right. I but, know uh, that's right. <laughs> but like, yeah, I mean, it, it is it, that's exactly right. Yeah. I was giving him kind of the benefit of the doubt. I always do that. I'm always playing the devil's assistant. And I'm being hundred percent honest here, dude. I'm on Godfrey's side still, but I will be if I'm on Country Wayne's side at any time here, I will go back. I didn't even hear what Godfrey said, dude. Yeah, we haven't heard what Godfrey said. He doesn't, I'll say, I'm back, I'm like, Country Wayne doesn't sound like a bad guy. Though. No. Like, when he was like, yeah, every, every comedian funny to me, and he's just like, listen, like, you know, I do this and that, and you do this. I, I wonder what made him this, like, address Godfrey like this. I mean, Godfrey was just like, he sucks. But, it, well, ever since Country Wayne brought up high school, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, country. I'm on the Godfrey side, dude. That's the thing. Uh, losers often do that when yeah. they're like, oh, you didn't have, you didn't get with a chick in high school, so you're mad at me. It's like, I'm mad at her still. <laughs> 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 you don't enter into the conversation at all. Yeah. But also, I'm not really, I also understand why. I, yeah. I was a loser, and it would be weird if she got with me. You it know? is like a weird infinity war they, where they try to teleport back in time and like yeah. interfere with that and be like, you're mad at me because Shonda didn't like you, dude. She wouldn't have dated you either, Donk. Yeah. You suck. You I'm probably. sure she would date this guy. I would like date a guy who's like uh, fucking wearing a weird 
gigantic hat and like talking like you are. No, she wouldn't be. You wouldn't be interested in either of us, sir. She would probably date you if she was in the buses. Where are you filming this in, dude? You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. She had, she's the uh, fucking working her job in fucking Deloitte right now. She's not dating Country Wayne. I can't imagine any of the girls from my high school being like, "This is my husband, Country Wayne." <laughs> <laughs> in your in your fucking dreams, buddy. I have a better shot than you do. <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> women and the people who get that money the people who work hard you know what i'm saying not you know hustle ages selling drugs and all that i'm talking about people who work hard take care of their family black people play spades um uh the white people who understand the culture who've been around the culture yo what you talking about shorts <laughs> just you know, ain't deep what in the people culture are. people still need 20 dollars, my boy so you what? out there i'm gonna give you some advice you like, out there who, talking about, jokes about whatever you talking about stuff. bro if you've been in this game that long and that audience ain't came to you yet. Switch it up. Switch it up, my boy. It's subject my boy, matter. And your I subject peed in your pool, matter. my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pee in your pool, my boy. You invited me to that one birthday party. I peed in your pool, dog. Hey, give me what does he say? Give me that diet coke, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like he drinks like a whole Bud Light. Oh, the what is that? Frankie Gris- Quinones uh, dress up gang. Yeah, dress yeah. up gang. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's another pl- free plug. Dress up gang. If you've not seen that, it's very funny. Also, shout out World Record Pod, dude. Like always, dude. As always, these uh, Walsh hooks us up mm-hmm. with merch. He's a great guest, a good guy. He don't put it. He don't pee in your pool, bro. No, he would never do that. I've never met him though. Yeah, me neither. Let's see here. <laughs> Just don't. So matter. all these comedians out here that got country Wayne name in their mouth, bro. Don't be mad because your girl. I mean your girl mouth. What you mad about? Because all the aunties and all the the, the black women. We love Country Wayne and all the real ones, all the real dudes out there who really, about their family, hey, Country Wayne, my boy, you would never get them. Your haircut on that interview, if you seen it, that's why they don't rock with you. That's why, ain't no, you, I'm riding through Chicago right now because I got a show at a theater that I'm going to make a hundred K plus. And the real Chicago street going to be there. Ain't nobody in Chicago got it. There's no way the Country Wayne has ever killed as hard as Godfrey. No way. Really? No way. Godfrey is, so, I saw him at the Cobbs. He was killing, and my dad was laughing at stuff <laughs> I didn't I didn't even know that my dad knew what a droid phone was. <laughs> he was destroying. Like, there's, there's just no way. Country Wayne is like a YouTube guy. It's a joke. But yeah. I'm also talking having never seen him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Actually never seen him. I mean, I'm sure Country Wayne can make me giggle hard, dude. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. I don't know. I mean, he hasn't said anything funny yet. My boy. Like that and leaning like that when they talk. So all the comedians who got my name in your mind, y'all was the lame dudes in high school who the girls ain't like. And this is why y'all can't get it. Because you still mad about the girl who dealt with old boy. Man, keep my name out your mouth, my boy. Like, for real. You up there talking about something. I said, if you're in the comedy club, if you're in the comedy club, you ain't get it. You ain't no real comedian. I didn't say that. It was comedian coming out coming for me who and i said he can't he he forced to go to a comedy club i go to comedy club still the comedy clubs is what we came from one for the comedy clubs i want to be where i where i'm at i still go there to work on material i'm gonna continue to go back to the work you know what i'm saying to work on another special but it's a message for godfrey and and and, and shout out to um shout out to shannon sharp for stopping that because he was trying to say something that i didn't say on there bro listen here man only thing you gotta do a comment for it by wayne how you doing what you doing I got the people, bro. The culture ain't a lot of the, a lot of that stuff. That's why when people be like, I love when people say they don't like my comedy because I know them the lanes. Get out of here. I'm in Chicago right now, and, and <laughs> we're just not in his lane. No, his he lane. said he said they're lames. Oh, I thought we were saying. You see, I didn't get it. He's like people that don't like me are lame. Oh, I'm in Chicago. <laughs> that's so funny to be like, that's someone is saying someone's lame, but you're cool because you're in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? We're like Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you lame, bro. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Stay in your bitch ass uh, Glass Hill Park, bitch. <laughs> the street, they going to be in there. Wow. Yo, man, keep my name out your mind, my boy, for real, though. Like, I ain't, I ain't one of no comedians. Everybody who really know me now. This the real Wayne. He's this the Wayne Cole. So all that country, country, dude. Yeah. I love the hick accent. It's yeah, I it's wouldn't so call funny. it that, but I like it too. It is. You don't think it's hick? No, it is. Yeah, yeah. I just don't say that kind of stuff, dude. You don't say the word hick. No, it's too it's far rough. for you. Yeah. 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 Right, right. Yeah, Mark me. I don't play like that. <laughs>
<laughs> That's why you don't see me hanging with nobody and all that. Cause I wasn't no, I, I was not no nobody. And all um, that. I ain't popping no pencils throwing across class, my boy. What? Yeah. Yeah, so, man, congratulations to you. But if you want some advice, you got my number. Don't be going on there talking, man. Think gonna get so clout off me. Because I'm going to tell you what it really is. I'm going to tell you why black people really rock with me. Because they see me. Everybody in this front of black. Yeah, right. Everybody in my production. Andrew Schultz. They eat. All my baby mamas, my family, my grandma, everybody get a check every month. So what they see, you so worried about uh, comedy. The the world, the culture looking like, bro, we need to take care of each other. So Country Wayne is, is bro, this is legendary. Man, you, you ain't me and I and I ain't you. Keep my name out your mouth, my boy. For real. You know what I'm saying? Work harder. Let's get let get a special out. You, Tommaso, Nick. Damn, I probably shouldn't uh, talk shit about Country Wayne. Why? Because he'll come at me hard, dude. He'll be like, man, this guy talking about he put a Sharpie in his butt, got beat up for not eating some soup out of his mom, bro. <laughs> talking about keep my man, name out your mouth, man. It's funny he if he had like really clever to things to say, but then at the end he is always the same thing. He's like, "Man, keep your name out your mouth." <laughs> he keep says like some genius butt, insult against you, and yeah. he's like, "Keep my name out your mouth." <laughs> let's get you. Let's get the sharpie out your ass. <laughs> let's do that first. <laughs> and then we could talk about Netflix and shit. Godfrey man. is looking at him so angrily, and this, yeah. the way they edited this is yeah. so funny. Like, like he can't believe how stupid this guy talking is. It's, it's I'm legendary, money, but you don't know. I put up my own paper. You know what I'm saying? You begging for money. If your grandma be mad at you sitting on a lie, sitting on there begging for somebody to put some money behind you, it ain't good. You won't even put the money behind you. Because you, you spend too much time talking about somebody else who got it. Man, My boy, put the money behind Keep us. the name out your mouth, man. All y'all, for real. Diddy. <laughs> put the money right here, though. Poor Oso's Diddy. Look at that Kibbe Tech hat. Where's that? Where's money talking right on our top of our heads? <laughs> what about these stickers? What's that? What's that? Trash Money. Tuesday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're just being redacted. Yeah, dude. Uh, listen, what do comedians expect when they make merch? That we're not going to podcast? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Country Wayne is right, okay? Because what really matters about comedy? Is it like intelligent stuff that makes you laugh and think? No. No. We're talking carne asada, dog. No, dude. Yeah, we're talking Chilean. We're talking baby mamas getting checks every month. Mm -hmm. Okay? Spicy Latinas, dog. We're talking about being in Chicago. Yep. What? We're not talking about talent and mm -hmm. like stuff that's very cool and interesting and no. new. No, we're not talking about people paying their dues and like finally getting the shot that they deserve. Blockbuster. Yeah, we're talking about tater tots once a week. Honestly, bro, we're talking about being on TikTok. We talking about being on YouTube, bruh. Yeah. We talking about Instagram clip. We talking about, hey, bruh, I'm going to be real honest with you right now, bruh. Honestly, bruh, we talking about getting people in the audience on the stage with us, bruh. Yeah. I'm like, hey, what you doing? Hey, homie. Get on stage. Man, get up out. Get up on the stage with me and let me ask you, well, who's on your phone? Mm-hmm. Tell me to tell you something else, bruh. Keep it, keep it, take it. Some, some real. Keep it, take that shit, bruh. <laughs> yeah. Keep it, take that shit, bruh. I'm talking about... <clears throat> You come on stage, bruh. I point at the stool. I say, how would you fuck this stool? Mm. How? What's the way that you approach that shit? I don't know, man. Something about that seemed real feminine to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you fuck, bruh. <laughs> Tell me how you fuck, bruh. I flip this stool upside down. <laughs> I sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, four Sharpies? <laughs> what is this, four Sharpies? <laughs> Holy shit, do you have sex toys on the stage? <laughs> that's have, that's a have, big shoppy, bro. <laughs> I may have gotten carried away. Yeah, no, um, I don't care. I did yeah. too, but it's fine. I mean, yeah, but it, I, my point is that it's this whole argument is ridiculous. Number one, it's so hacked to be like, you didn't fuck in high school and that's why you're whatever. Especially about Godfrey. He's like a jack dude, I'm sure he yeah. fucked. But, and number two is like your argument of like, but I'm like real big and like people like me or whatever. You are an idiot that makes terrible content and Godfrey is a fucking genius. Like, th this is wrong. This is like, the this is in a, a microcosm of why society is bad. Yeah. Because of people like you and your horrible fan base. You're an idiot. You shouldn't have any money. You should be like serving people. I don't know. I don't want to get douche people. I, you, I don't even think he should be serving people DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, may, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm a hater. We do have some voicemails if you want to get to yeah, that. Yeah, let's get to that. Yeah. 
Uh, sorry about that, Country Wayne. I, I'm sure you're great. <laughs> he was fake Godfrey's face when he said <laughs> that. It's like, what, bruh? Uh, this one, I don't think this is a voicemail, but let's see. Anything? No, nothing. Let me make sure it's on speaker. Um, if you guys want to leave us a voicemail, you can call us at... Let me check reviews. 775-557-8667. That's 775-557-TEMOS. And you can leave us a voicemail just like this. Oh, it's not. I'm calling in anomalously because it's come to my attention that a very special young man who happens to be afflicted with big gums and small teeth <laughs> is working on mesmerizing one of the greatest comedy specials of all time. And I'd like to offer my support to this effort. A lot of people just don't understand how challenging it can be to mesmerize. Mesmerize. This song will help you to remember. <laughs> you remember the special the dance? Flaming hot Michael Jackson, dude. You remember the special Oh, I thought it was going to be like the night or the night or something. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, do you remember? I thought it, for some reason it was like... I was gonna like, oh, so I can feel it coming in the air. Remember the special flaming hot Cheetos. You remember the special the cardboard cut out background. Remember the special some old Dallas is different. You remember the special getting introduced to Mr. Paul's son at the elementary for his. Here's school pictures, why be texted, please drop out the ugly. <laughs> and when his mother-in-law came over to put her Tito, she thought, Charles on Tito, so he'll like these. He shall not remember the special, oh, our Mexican cookie. Do you remember the special 15-person family wedged in a one car? I think that's it. What if that, like, you, we could see who was doing it and it was your uncle George just doing a crazy voice? Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, how did he do that with his voice? That'd be funny if uh, they were in an apartment complex. And because that's, I picture everyone just lives in an apartment because that's what I've been doing for right. a long time. Yeah. And it's just like you hear the muffled singing <laughs> next door. Like, what is, what you know? is he quoting the Gringo Poppy next door? Dude, um, someone wrote like a while ago. They were like, "You didn't read reviews on the last thing," and I was like, "Well, we I mean, I, we we didn't have any." There is one new review for what Wednesday, and if this is you that you wrote, you didn't read reviews, and this is all you wrote. That's so fun because <laughs> all it says is eight inches. <laughs> and if you wrote on my YouTube, see. our YouTube, see. Ever heard of it? Eight yeah, yeah, that's the subject. Joe right Bacabara. Joe Bacabara. Yeah, if you, Joe Bacabara, if you're the guy that wrote, you didn't read reviews and all you wrote is eight inches, that's very funny. <laughs> all right, let's get to this next one, dude. Uh, let's see what this is. Well, Shab is a man and the man is doing all that he can. <laughs> but the show's got the Reddit and the Reddit is the one with the fan. Oh, Callan's doing everything that he can. Man, you some ducks, we some hawks, and we get it every way that we can. You Sean Claude Van Damme. God damn. You are dumb. Shut up. That's hawks. awesome, dude. <laughs> I gotta wait to see if there's a daddy. 
every single time at the whenever there's like a trailing oh, yeah, ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that they're some of the voicemails sound like unique is leaving them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so funny, dude. That's good. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Um, I think it's another song, and we did ask for songs. So this oh, is, did we? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Good, good. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys. It's me again. Uh, we're going to do, this time we're going to do um, In Bloom by Nirvana. We're going to try this. <laughs> uh, let me see. Walk me to my truck. <laughs> 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 I like it, dude. Yeah, I like it So yeah, good. That was well crafted. You, we got to do it in bloom now, dude. That was a good idea. Yeah. Nirvana. Ever heard of it? We did one. That was good. The man who sold the world. Oh, yeah. We did that one. All right. Here we go. Last one for the day, dog. E, my boy. <laughs> You've got to try the Valentino and the Cheetos, my think Mexican. Hey, Zeus is a fraud. He's a, a bake. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? He's basically doing, I think that the character that Chob does in his special where he's like, dude, poppy, you got to try the um, the, the spice, the Latinas, yeah. bro. Latina. And then he's like saying that Jesus is funny. <laughs> well, I, I still haven't responded to Jesus' message. I know. Jesus messaged me too. But uh, we got to get over to the Patreon, dude. Yeah. Time to, to uh, record a Patreon. Hopefully you guys will join it someday. Think yes. about Think about it. All right. Have a good week. Later.